Hey guys, and welcome back to another part of Detroit Become Human. As you guys know, last episode was pretty crazy. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. I'm already expecting this part to be crazy as well. So let's just head into the game. Rose's farm? Wait, why are we here? Find help. Check the backyard. We're on a farm. Oh, there's someone here. Hello. Hello. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Oh. <laughs> I really need to see her. I'm Rose. Hey, Queen. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. I think we can trust them. I think so. I don't have a choice. Come in. What's your name? Alice. <laughs> Is she sick? She's running a fever. Oh no. We spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, can oh, you show Rose. them upstairs? That's so nice. Get you all better, Alice, I promise. Thank you. See? Move shoes. Her in. I'm fine, Car. <laughs> you can't stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. No. Oh. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. I love how she said humans. It's complicated. Humans are complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't That's we for just sure. talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. Oh, wow. I'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Uh, she's so sweet. Kiss her good night. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything.
Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be strong. Dude, I love Luther so much. I'll stay with her a while. Oh, look at him. Luther. You literally make my heart so warm right now. Okay, let's go talk to Rose. Hey, Rose. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. Oh, whoops. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. Oh. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Thanks. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? Uh oh. The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Oh, who's this? What is going on? Where are we going? Wait, what's, what's going on? Happening. It's Mary. She like just shut down. What? We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. Oh. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? That's so sad. Let's let them be. Wait, RA9 save us. Did you see that on the wall? Alice. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Are we, though? Are we really? Alice was like barely even up there for five minutes. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! 
We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! Come I on, Adam. What would be happening if Dad was still here? I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough. Oh my Adam. God. That's enough. Jesus, you tell him, Rose. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight. Okay? Oh, thank you, Rose. You stay here. I won't be long. Okay, Queen. What do we do now? World War Three? Who would win it? What the? I hope Rose gets back soon. Carol. There's something I need to tell you. What is it? It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. What? You know what happened back there, don't you? You know that you don't want to tell me? We didn't keep secrets from each other. If I tell you, you won't love me anymore. What? Alice. You know that's not true. Tell me. The police. It's the police. What? How are they here? What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. Hi, I knew this was going to happen. Alice and hide. I knew it. Laundry. In the laundry room. Come on, Alice. to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Not here. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Oh, no, I'm nervous. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. What am I looking for? What other evidence of deviance? Is anyone is there? else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, 
I don't know where the other evidence is. What's with the blue blood? I thought you didn't have any android. What blue blood? It's... Previous owner? It belonged to the, the previous tenant. I still haven't cleared all that out yet. Is there more evidence? What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? Yeah, everything's fine. The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, no problem. Have a nice evening. Yeah, you too. Is somebody else in the house? Just the wind. A draft. It must be a draft. I probably left a window open somewhere. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, <laughs> close one. Good evening, Adam. What were the other two pieces of evidence? Because I didn't see any. I was going around the room, but I couldn't find it. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. Yay! It's Rose! Get yourselves ready. Oh my god! What a legend. We're back. November 9th. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. She looks so different the Dialogue here. is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. That's what you think, but they're like, you're just an android. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What and difference of does that Simon... make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you? Ooh. That's enough! Marcus is angry. And now what are we going to do? She's so pretty, though. I will say, I feel like North has influenced Marcus to do the bad things. Like, we shot Simon, and that helped our relationship with her. And then we also shot that guard. There are so, five Cyber Life stores across the country. And we also murdered that other dude. All selling us like merchandise. That's Cyber Life. <laughs> We're gonna attack oh, it looks Christmassy. I love it. Free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. <laughs> We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Okay. Find the Cyber Life store. All right. Is this the revolution? Wait, what is this I've been fit? waiting a long time for this. I can tell you have, North. I've... I've become a bad man because of you. <laughs> and by I've become a bad man, I mean Marcus. Marcus, this way, quick! How will they know that it's Marcus though? We they don't they never saw our face, did they? I mean actually they might have on the footage, huh? It's okay, they're gone. Oh, she's so cute. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Why is her, like, shirt over her hair? That is bothering me. Why is it like that? That's not right. Can I, can I fix that for here. you? Griswold State? 
finally we are running. I feel like every time I'm playing this game, I'm always like walking so slow. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Yeah. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. <laughs> she wants to do everything quick. <laughs> Nine minutes? What are we waiting for? Secure the area, get into the store. Anytime they put a timer into this game, I stress out. Okay, so analyze the store window. All right, let's do this. You see the alarm system? I guess, I don't know. Housekeeping and private assistance. Generating and office maintenance. Wait, so all these androids are made for some specific reason. I mean, Luther was supposed to be like heavy lifting or something like that. Found it. Arm network identified. How, what, you can see through the ground, dude? Neutralize the alarm system, maybe how? Okay. Where is it? I have to go over here. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. All right, let's look up here. Exactly what we need to break this door. Oh, all right. But how the heck do I neutralize the alarm system? Oh, there's stuff over here. Oh, I wish I could just jump over. Oh wait, what does that say? Connect? What if I convert? You're free. Alright. So I just converted him. Run free, my child! Go! It's like, I'm out of here. See ya. Okay, what? Where else do I have to... Am I making this guy free too? Yes, you will. Are we gonna like smash open the windows or something? But you look kind of pretty. Oh, she's like modeling. Ugh, queen. All right, where am I supposed to go for this camera stuff? Marcus! Network access located. Okay. So we gotta go here. Alright, let me go make these guys free. Convert them. Hi. I'm here to convert you to being free. Convert. I love how I said it, thought it was connect at first. What is something like anti convert? You're awake, Jen. Go to Jericho. so crazy. He can just do that. Okay. Interlube created? Does that mean we stopped it from working? Man, it just exploded. <laughs> Marcus, watch out. Wait, is it gonna explode? You can't see me. <laughs> yeah, they definitely would have seen us if we got out. Okay, let's go. Nice job, Marcus. <laughs> Thanks, North. She loves us, and I love her too. I think she's like the Hank to my to Connor and the Alice to my Kara. Wouldn't you say so? Scout the area? Well, we need to try and get that freaking, um... We need to try and get the truck. Okay, let me convert this dude. So what do I do with this drone? Analyze it. Reconstruct route. 
Oh. Drone patrol route calculated. So it goes in circles. Oh, okay. Let's simulate this. Wrong location. Okay, it's gonna be the last one, of course. Okay, guess this is our only option. So the drone can be reached from there. All right, time to get her. Let me, can I convert this dude? Sweetheart, let me come help you. Don't, you don't even need to worry about shuffling the snow anymore. Go to Jericho. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Yeah. Fuck the snow. Alright, how the heck do I get up here, though? It's gonna do parkour. Oh, shoot, okay. Um... Oh, nice! I did it. There we go. Let's go. He is so quick. And agile, literally. Get it! Come on, Marcus! Oh my god, no! I pressed the wrong button! I pressed freaking squares and X. <gasps> no, she's not. North, you icon! Are you doing it on purpose? Yeah, I did it on purpose so I could see you do it. Oh, I thought you could handle a drone without alerting every cop in the city. Oh my god, no! I overestimated you. Wait, are you serious? Because I pressed the wrong button, I've messed up completely. Hide. Hide. Go hide. We gotta go. Hide? Yes, They're please. Coming, Marcus. Take cover. We're not here. You see anything? No. No. Where the fuck is that drone? It was a class three alert, right? Yeah. One of the signals stopped suddenly. Another drone playing up. The cold screws with them. Yeah, maybe. We gotta get rid of them. That's what. Tina. Listen, y'all gotta go so I can get into this store. City of Detroit and her capital of the world. Patrol. The antenna. You can probably mess with that, huh? Radio module. Dispatch, calling patrol 975. Oh my god, Dispatch, okay. This is patrol 975. Suspected robbery in progress at the <laughs> warehouse on Jefferson and Walker. Jefferson and Walker? We all love That's that. pretty far. It's outside our district. Oh my god. Sorry guys, there are no other patrols available. Well, he's good. 10-4 dispatch, we're on our way. Okay. Imagine being that talented. I could never. I gotta hand it to you, Marcus. That was impressive. Yeah, I did it. Oh, we went up. Companions again. We have to block the road. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Block the road. With what exactly? With the cars? Marcus! Marcus, come look! I'm coming, my love. What is it? Oh, the sign? We can probably just say that you can't. Okay, let me convert y'all real quick, just so you guys can be free. You're free now. And so are you. Yeah, put down that shovel. We do. Oh, we're blocking the road. Gotcha. Oh, this is so easy. There. Nobody should bother us now. Okay, 
We still need to get that truck, though. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. But okay, we need the truck. the truck. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. I will say that I feel like at first when I was playing with Marcus, I wasn't really that excited playing with him because I feel like there wasn't really much to him. But now, as, like, the revolution is happening and everything, I feel like things are getting a little bit more... You're free. Exciting, if that makes sense. Okay, so how the heck do we get in here? I think it's over here. Oh, it's locked. What well, use we your freaking for? super strength. Oh my god, I love how they're, like, together doing this. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Yep. Let's get it. Was oh, this the same truck from that we were in using in Cyberlay? We're just gonna drive through it anyway. I what you do with that or not. We can <laughs> use the cutters. Nope, I keep pressing square instead of circle. Why? Okay. It's time. Let's ram this store. <laughs> and I'm actually excited to see what happens. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Oh yeah, we are. Oh, I thought he was just going to drive through the fence. I was like, what was the point of even doing all that? Really wide turn. Oh my god, we're doing it! <laughs> Wait, I feel like I'm driving, actually, but I'm just pressing a button. <gasps> Are we ready? I'm so ready. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Yeah, this is so fun! Even though I thought I lost you as a friend for a second, but we're good. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <gasps> Fuck yeah! We did what? That. Oh my god, look at all these people we're gonna make free. I mean, androids. <gasps> Do not crash into them. Oh my god. What a legend. We did it. Set them free. Come, my children. You shall be free now. You She's don't like, have to obey them. You're free. Free? What is free? <laughs> I wonder if they're just gonna like stand here and not know what to do. She's pretty. Oh, she's pretty too. Okay, they really picked some good looking people to play as these androids. Oh, it's this guy. Yo, I love this game. Talk to them. How do I get them all to come collectively into one spot? Come on, guys. Oh, here we go. <laughs> My name is Marcus. Yes, it Just is. Just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Mm hmm Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them. Or you can come with oh us. Oh my god! Her twin. And fight by our side. 
You're free now. It's up to you to decide. They're like, now what? Where do we go? I'm with you. <gasps> yes! I'm with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, Marcus! We're with you! Yes! I'm with you! Oh my god, they're with me! North is so happy. We're officially a giant leader. We got this. Marcus, what are you doing? We're I'm leading send this. The humans a message. Oh my god, this is so iconic. Be pacifist or violent? Transform Capitol Park? Transform how? What are we doing with the bench? They're doing what you do, Marcus. Tag or tear off? Why not tag? Let's go. Oh my! Choose symbol? <gasps> Wait, this one. Oh, that's so iconic. Wait, I love. Let's go. Let's tag these men. Not your slave anymore. We android nation. I can't breathe, but I'm alive. We have a dream. So cool. The screens, Marcus. I feel like I'm decorating. Hijack. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our wants. Together, we can live in We're getting in trouble. <laughs> Okay, we're going the pacifist route instead of violent. I like that better. I can't breathe, but I'm alive. Anything else? Oh, this is so cool. This window as well. Equal rights for androids. We can tag this one too. Can we do the symbol again? Oh yes, symbol. Going violent and doing all that looks like. I'm definitely gonna have to look that up later. Because I'm interested. But I like going the more peaceful route. We're 100% pacifist. Doing great things, Marcus. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. I need to get stand. To Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. True. Unless there's no other choice. <gasps> I feel like she wanted to go the violent route. I guess we could have gone half and half. But I want to see what happens if you do 100% pass this. North. <gasps> Wait, they're shooting? Wait, excuse me? 
she go this way? <gasps> no! Oh my god, no. Wait, are you serious? North. <gasps> All right, what happened? North. They killed them. They slaughtered Your twin. Them animals. Who did? Who? Wait a second. Oh, maybe I should have gone the violent route. Dang it. I was trying to be good. After all the people that I've accidentally killed. Well, accidentally. One was technically accidental. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Oh my god. <gasps> do I have to decide whether or not I kill them? You don't have to do this. No. Please. I think she wants me to kill him. Please. Oh, I don't know. Spare them? I feel like I should spare. I don't want to kill them. I really don't. We won't punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows know. were covered with graffiti demanding rights for them. androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids I think they already have, honey. Our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Oh, Hank. Are you sleeping? <laughs> I love these two so much. I can't even explain. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. What the hell? Kamsky, Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test, and he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about deviants, it's him. What is what am I looking at here? Is that a door? Oh my god, it's a window. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, I was just trying to see what this was, Hank. My apologies. Keep talking. Wait, is this his house? What's this girl? Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. I didn't think she was going to be an actual character in this game. Okay. Oh, this place looks nice and modern. I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. So, is that him? Wow. 
Wow, okay. Handsome. Kind of looks angry, I will say. Cyberlife founder resigned 2028, inventor of Ethereum and biocomponents technology. Nice girl. Yeah. Sincere. You're right. She's really pretty. Oh, you think she's pretty now? Nice place. Nice tree. <laughs> Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Guess not. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? What is that? Um. Indifferent, to be it honest. It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes. Is that Amanda? It is Amanda! Wait, she died? Wait. If Amanda's dead, who the heck have I been talking to? Unless oh, it's a different Amanda. No, this has to be the same one. What? Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'm confused. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Tech addict. Cyberlife's fortune teller computer. Okay. Um, anything else I need to look at in here? I guess let's just sit down and wait. Wait, is she here? Oh. Glad you will see you now. I was about to sit down. Never mind. Oh, what the? Uh, hello, ladies. Mr. Kamsky! Um, Just a moment, please. What exactly is going on here? Why is... That's actually kind of cool. The pool water looking like it's blood. Because the interior is red. Kind of nice design, Kamsky, I will say. You can see your theme here. I like it. A lot of red. He looks really tall. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, they must be having a really nice conversation. Why does he look so familiar to me for some reason? I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Oh. Deviants. Mm -hmm. Fascinating, aren't they? Very. Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. That's crazy, Machines actually. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Mm. War? If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. It's quite a serious matter. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? That rug looks really fluffy. <laughs> Whose side are you on? That's kind of hard, honestly. Kind of neutral, to be honest. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I mean, I'd like to be free. Um, troubled? What I want is not important. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. 
Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I think so. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple. Of course you do. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. Oh, he's giving me creepy vibes now. The flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? I was really hoping he was not pulling out a gun. You're not gonna shoot her, are you? You're not going to shoot her, are you? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. What? Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. <gasps> no. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of more here, important please. to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Oh no, why would they do this to me? you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. I feel like he wants me to spare her. Connor, don't. And I'll tell you what you want to know. I can't do it. I can't because we saved that guy, the deviant, before. I'm gonna say don't shoot. I don't think I can do this. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. Is itself a deviant? I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. I mean, they really look like humans, so... Empathy. It's getting confusing now. <laughs> A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? That's so hard, though. What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Like, imagine me having to go against Let's Hank. Get out of here. Like, I freaking love this man. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Wait, so is he telling me that if I tried to shoot her, she would have just not gotten shot? Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. Yeah, you know, she's really we're pretty. You would do anything <laughs> to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Oh, okay. Hank still likes me, so it's good. I have approval from Hank, so I feel okay. Is this Jericho again? Oh. I was like, why am I still here? Oh, read. Android Riot, Detroit neighborhoods vandalized by psychotic machines i don't really call it van lies it was like adding art <laughs> uh, a number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night with cyber life stores broken into an entire stock of android stolen not stolen set free so they're kind of not getting the memo here um we know what we did so we don't need to read about it walk to edge
It's giving me Spider-Man vibes. Don't know why. Hi, North. I was wondering where you were. Been thinking. A lot. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Followers? They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary. Mm -hmm. At the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. Oh my god. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Optimistic? No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Well, we live with this man named Carl who is absolutely lovely. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. Mm. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. I want to know her past. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Ah. Come on. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. Aww. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. Oh, she's from Eden Club? And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. <gasps> Wait. There, now you know everything. <sighs> Wait. I shouldn't have told you. Was it... The, was it the strangulation that Connor investigated? That we thought it was the blue girl? Or... Wait, this is so cute. I love them. <gasps> oh my god, they're actually feeling. I, I saw your memories. Lover! Her. Love her. We're lovers now. We're dead in his oh studio. I'm crying. I We're lovers now. Too. That's all I wanted in this game. The death of that man, I felt like I was there with you. North. No, 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 we're lovers. I, I can, we can, you know, talk about it. We'll be fine. Oh my God, we're lovers now. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. What you does he want to do? We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. Why do you feel like he's ready to fight? To take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Convert more androids? There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Okay. 
Let's just slowly convert them then. Hi. You're free. You're free. It's like, uh, what? <laughs> okay. They said there's a bunch of androids. Where the heck are the other ones? Oh, go to the street. Okay. So we're starting up a rally. Okay, okay. Oh, there's an android right here. Come with us. <laughs> you can carry your own bags now, ma'am. <laughs> Any more? Uh, finally. Oh, look. I've been on hold for like 10 minutes. Yeah. You're free now. Follow me. I am your leader. Okay. Where do you think you're going? You'll take instructions. You'll oh. get back here. Oh wait, I, I, should, I wanted to, to intervene. What'd you call me? You do as I say, you piece of junk. I should have intervened. Open manhole cover? Wait, who is, is that another? Oh wait, there's another one right here. Hello? I'll grab you real quick. You're awake. My children. Oh, there's another one right here. You are free. Let's open up this manhole. Oh wait, there's probably gonna be more coming through there. Is that what it is? Oh, okay, yeah. My people! Come on through, everybody. Oh my god, imagine how people are gonna be coming out of that hole. Convert more androids. Oh, by looking at them. Beautiful. We're marching. Oh, wait, this is so good. Get back here right now. Can I look behind me? <gasps> wait, I'm gonna cry. Wait, why is this actually so? Wait, why am I getting emotional, y'all? Forty-five. Please join us. You too, you come here. And you too, sir. Come. Oh, not the freaking drone. <gasps> Look at that! Oh my god. Stop. See, we can do it peacefully. I need one more look for, just for me. Look at that. That is iconic. Oh, look at what you're doing, Marcus. I'm so proud of you. Greg! <laughs> stop us now what are y'all gonna do nothing absolutely freaking nothing going for a freaking walk hey. we are marching disperse, disperse? no honey disperse we are not listening to you That's we're doing what we want put the gun down advance what are you gonna do shoot us all there's a hundred and freaking fifty androids. What are you gonna do, sir? Jesus. Exactly. Christ. Back down. Back down with that gun. This bet's control 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids.
boys down here? I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. Yeah, we are. Yeah, they're marching down the street. I didn't realize he was turned around. <laughs> Fuck if I know. Equal right. Equal right. We are people. people clapping for us no 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 y'all back down we're here coming in peace please not the SWAT team oh my god y'all are not about to attack we came here to demonstrate y'all see that one Android glitch. And tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately, or we will open fire. You better we are not. not. Confrontation. We've done no harm. Mm -hmm. We have no intention of doing any. Exactly. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's oh more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. This is your last chance. I don't know what to do. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Stand ground, disperse. I'm gonna stand ground. Let's we just... have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. <gasps> Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them start us without fighting back. Maybe we should attack. Maybe we should. Let's go. Let's do it. Attack! What are they gonna do? Get him! Yes! 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 Let's do this! Fuck the SWAT team! Fry in my ass! What gun? We don't need guns! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's too many buttons happening too quickly. Ooh, ooh! She got some moves! We're gonna, we're gonna just do revenge. They killed some of ours, we gotta kill some of them. I'm sorry. But that's what it's come down to. I'm like, everything's moving so fast, I don't know, like, my eyes are like, going crazy. Trying to shoot me. Please. I've had enough. Oh! Please. I, I literally cannot.
lover. It's pregnant. This. <gasps> what a move! Revenge, let's do it. And we've already killed some, might as well just go all out, right? Look at how many they slaughtered of ours anyways. I honestly wonder if I did the peaceful route. Honestly, I wanted some more action, to be honest. But, I do wonder if we didn't move, if we would have still gotten slaughtered. Oh, we lost so many. How come he got shot twice and he's fine, but these got oh, they got shot in the face. I tried to be peaceful. They came out with the guns and started shooting our people. So. I was just scared if I did not move that they would have shot us. I mean, I could have definitely dispersed, but let's be honest. I didn't know if that was the right way. Connor, when are we gonna see Kara? I miss her. Talk to Amanda, oh God. Every time I talk to her, I always end up saying something wrong or something, I don't know. You know, I never like check this place. There's something over here, let's see what it is. Cause I always forget about the R2 thing for some reason. What just happened? I feel like she's gonna interrogate me. She's like, are you a deviant? <laughs> I can feel it. Are we on ice? She's really risking my life right here. Why are we on the ice, Amanda? <laughs> also, aren't you supposed to be dead? Is this like an afterlife or something? I'm unsure. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. Machines yeah. are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Or we could live in peace. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose uh not to ask. Oh, God. Emotion. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. <gasps> Distrusted, baby girl. Amanda's picture, yeah. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's uh. why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Wait, she's an android? Uh. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. I just wanted to ask, honestly. You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. She doesn't like me. Mm-mm. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants. Or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. Are they gonna shut me down if I don't? You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? Uh, but we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. Mm -hmm. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Well, now Jesus, I can. Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. 
I know we can solve it. Come God's on. sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? Give Hank a chance, please. There's nothing I can do. <sighs> You're Come back on, on Jeffrey. Homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. No! You can't split I'm them sorry, up. Hank, but it's over. Dude, I'm about to cry if Hank and freaking Connor knock me together. <sighs> what the fuck, Jeffrey? Hank, baby. I'm sorry, man. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm pissed. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. Oh no. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? <gasps> What Hank. if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Hank! I know we're on the right side. Oh no! Humans created us. I didn't mean to click They're that. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Its I thought it was like, no doubt, obviously. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place. You put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. It is. I'm troubled. I don't know why I did it. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. But you guys are friends! Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. I thought I messed up we when I pressed up. no doubt. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. We can't have that. That's all I ask. We cannot destroy Connor. the basement is on my desk get a move on I can't distract him forever okay where are we going heard of the archive room is this it okay archive room perfect it's open Here? Hey, Connor. Hey. I'm talking to you, asshole. Asshole. Where are you going? We need any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I run. I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. <laughs> <gasps> no, you are. Put that fucking gun down right now. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. You're hilarious. Connor is like. Get a fucking move on. Why does this guy have such a problem with us? Just because we're an android? This man. Let's go. Ooh, there's stairs. Let's let up nicely in here. Very futuristic. Oh my god. What kind of archive room is this? Hank's password. What, what would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? One, two, three? Ridiculous. No one would have a password like that. Well, I don't know, maybe Hank could. Date of birth, fucking password, maybe? Oh my god, it is! <laughs> Obviously. Oh, this is our. Oh! Where it's all our evidence. Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. 
Okay, the time stops when we do this. Okay. The deviant who took a child hostage. Needed for reactivation. Functional bio components. Maybe he has one. Rupert. The android with the birds. Do you have com the component we need? Wait, there's another one over here. One Do you have it? The TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Marcus? We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Okay, can I stop this? Marcus. Deviant leader speech. I can reactivate this guy because he has a piece that I need. Wait, put this back. But I don't know if he's gonna give me the information I need. Let's get 9 1. Can you hear me? Rupert to damage to talk. Check other connected evidence. Oh, the diary? Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. <sighs> what about this? Wait, he has 3984. Can you tell me? Start. Where? Where am I? That doesn't matter. I need to find Jericho. Tell me how to get there. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone! Try to trick him. How? Oh, I wonder if I can take the video. Hold on. Marcus? Sample voice. Oh my god, I'm so smart. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. <laughs> the way he says that. All right, let me go trick this man real quick. Why don't you tell me where Jericho is now, huh? Who's there? It's your leader. Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Come on, voice acting. Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the deviant hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Yes. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Now tell me, my child. Marcus? 
Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Yes. Don't it is leave I. me, Marcus. I'm sorry. I have to. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's going to be definitive. <gasps> Mark. Not Marcus. Wrong fucking character. I hate him. Can we please kill him? Like, I'd be completely okay with killing Gavin. I literally despise this man. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> Fix his tie! Easy. We don't even have to shoot him. Oh my god. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, Wait, did, did Hank punch him? Now. Well, at least we know where Jericho is, so. Oh, look at him. <gasps> Please don't this is Yes, Kara! My babies, I feel like I haven't seen them in so long. Hello. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's <gasps> on edge after what happened yesterday. Oh shit. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. I hope so. Mm, not feeling this song. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. Damn. How about some music instead? Yeah, okay. Wait, is this the parking lot we were in? Oh no, wait, definitely not. <laughs> I thought it was like the one where we stayed at <laughs> overnight. I was like, why don't we go back? Oh, sorry. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the oh. border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. Are they all gonna meet? It's not much. But it's a start. Oh, thank you so much. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? Aw. And be careful. Take care of them. Oh, he will. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. I love the way he carries her. Oh. Guess we gotta go this way then. Does she have a fanny pack on her back? Hmm. Connor. I just want to have to do all of this stuff over again. Please. Okay. You've already got this. Oh my god. If they all meet, I'm gonna like scream. Okay, obviously not, but like. Hold on. I didn't realize how big this boat was. Holy shit. Was the Titanic this big too? I wonder. Probably. I mean, I don't know. I have nothing to compare it to. <laughs> With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. They're just watching the news casually. Of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of 
We've got to find a warm place for Alice. Oh my god, there's so many people here. Whoa. Yeah, but think about all the androids they slaughtered too. It's gonna be a good spot. Yeah. American forces and the Oh, such a comfy I'm bed. Soon. I'm hot and cold at the same time. Oh, she's sick. Poor Stay Alice. with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. What is it? We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Wait, what about Alice? Don't catch anyone's attention. Okay. Um, there's a few. Th there's two things over here that I can look at. There's bombs. C4. Fighter is rigged. Who the heck is Marcus? I feel like he's gonna be like upstairs. You're lost. You're looking for something. No, I'm not. You're looking for yourself. Sure. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, they think this fucker was watching over my kids. Why? They, they rushed Why did they do it? Why? Wow, there's they so many. There's probably oh, even more than what we see here, to be honest. Oh, there's Marcus. Found him. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Well, they don't anyway. really have a choice. Oh. You might be safer here until things calm down. Or that. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Guess how is she gonna hate her? We have a bond. She needs me. Then I need her. Hmm. <laughs> It's as simple as that. Yep. Authorities. The country is trying Don't do something. Alice. <gasps> Wait. I thought that's what Luther was gonna say, that she's an android. Is she actually? The perfect child? You knew from the beginning. You just didn't want to see it. Oh my god. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. 
difference does it make? True. You guys can be one Randy big happy Android family. She's one of us. Alice loves you, Carol. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Oh! Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. This makes sense why she's never hungry. <laughs> Hug her. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Yes. Forever. Family. Literally forever. Unless your parts get outdated or something, you know. <laughs> but that's so cute. best trio family ever all right guys so that is it for this episode we have i think one more left after this and it's gonna be the end of detroit become human i have thoroughly enjoyed this game i mean right now as i'm speaking to you guys i have already finished it so i cannot wait for you guys to see the end but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon bye guys